former finance minister said Tepe projects a rising cost of food products in the domestic market. As the dry season nears, Ghana's annual inflation rate was 37.2% in September 2022, fueled by surging input, global food and energy costs, and the city weakening more than 42% against the United States dollar. The government has become heavily dependent on the domestic, especially the Bank of Ghana, to finance the deficits. Uh, and this is, this is a 40-year high. We have never been financed the deficit to this extent since the year peace up, you know, days, you know, coming out of the difficult 1970s. It's weighing on inflation, it's weighing on fast depreciation of the city, because Bank of Ghana is depleting not just its city reserves, but a foreign exchange to help, you know, drive the economy. Uh, to pay in order to avoid default. So that's also resulting in its own headaches for the economy. As it adjusts policy rates, you know, uh, to fight, you know, the inflation and others, uh, the crowding, um, it's, it's, it's transmits into other interest rates, other market rates from the banks, and therefore the private sector in particular, and even governments own borrowing you know, begins to suffer. So you can see the sharp rise. This is inflation. You know, you know, it was going down, you know, from 2015, 2016, all the way down. And then from 2019, it started rising. And you see the sharp increase, which we have been discussing again as a nation. When it comes to this, it's not just fiscal. Of course, fiscal is important, but the extent to which if we make savings, we can, for example, food, provide fertilizer and the recent, the, the thing is that we are also going now going into the uh, dry season where Bank of Ghana would need money for imports, you know, and that is the, the reason why there is anxiety to have the fund program fast-tracked, you know, so that the markets can get confidence.